Bone Works is a physics-based VR game where you take control of a man named Arthur Ford and use your degree in advanced physics to solve puzzles, disregard public property and human rights as you murder your way through a city to get to a clock tower. The primary objective of Bone Works is basically to wander around an uninhabited wasteland of a virtual city whose only inhabitants are violent grey and orange people who just stand around and get in your way and get to a clock tower, that's also quite important. There are puzzles to solve yes and combat scenarios to be had for sure, but for the most part the majority of your time will be spent doing this. Allow me to show you a few scenarios of being alone in a VR game, other than Boneworks of course. <laughs> what was the first thing you noticed about those clips? Well none of them were scary or creepy in the slightest really were they? The reason for this I think is because though we may be alone or even in the presence of fish, there is an abundance of stuff for us to do like get drunk on a boat, magic and ZOOM! Humanity as a whole was a very social ordeal. We like to have interaction with others and especially to be interacted with ourselves because we are very selfish, aren't we? So when a game just straight up doesn't acknowledge us, it does feel quite sad. Or when it just shoves us in a corner that looks like it isn't even finished. It really does rather make you feel alone. The game also lacks a proper soundtrack for the most part. It has an abundance of diegetic sound, what's more commonly called ambient noise, things like footsteps, enemies groaning, and the whooshing of objects coming into your hands, that sounded wrong. This really lends to the feeling of unease of being stranded alone in a city with death and no man around every corner. Come to think of it, that'd be a neat name for a band. FUCKING BAD SHUT UP! The visuals of this game and the word itself are also very fascinating to me, as it reminds me of something like CP Orange. It looks like an unfinished community map rather than a game you would pay money for. This building right here especially reminds me of something that you'd rip straight out of Minecraft. Everything is very bare bones, but I love that about this game. It's like low budget steampunk with a pinch of concrete thrown in, a dash of industry and construction for added zest, and a rather abundant absence of hue. As everything is either grey, white, orange, green, or something like that, but there's not much colour in the world to be honest. And suddenly, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I'm rather hungry. Well, what does all this actually mean for the game? Well, for the developers, it means they've done a very good job at building an atmosphere that makes it very, very weird and otherworldly. It just feels like a completely different experience than walking around in our own world. Have you ever walked around at night by yourself? Imagine that. This is like that, except you know there is someone there, you know they've got a knife, and you know they're going to stab you at any point in time, and that your knife that you have in your hand is just going to spasm out and go behind you. Let me get something off my chest real quick, alright? The melee comment in this game makes me sad. For at least me, if it isn't a sharp object that I can perforate the pelvis of an unwilling participant in my production of painful perishment, all I can think is the irony that a game that puts so much emphasis on physics, yet you can't throw a fucking proper punch. Watch what happens when I try to punch this single enemy. You see, it's utterly useless. It's like barbecue sauce at a vegan restaurant or a broken pencil. Fucking pointless, yet still not blunt enough to be useful to me. Now look at something like Gorn. The weapons are floppy and ridiculous, but still work as intended without fail every time. And in comparison, Boneworks weapons just feel rigid, stiff, yet lack quite a lot in terms of force. This is to be expected, however, as Gorn is almost entirely focused on combat, apart from the part where you choose what combat scenario you want to get into, whereas Boneworks it has a lot more variation in what you're able to do, so it kind of does make sense why the weapons are different. Did you just fucking say that? Are you, do you fucking talking shit, bird? Fuck off! The gunplay however, oh my lord I live, I live for this shit. There are two ways to shoot in VR, the way similar to reality where you put the sight to your eye and you know aim at the damn target, or you can estimate and pray that you know what you're doing and that you hit the damn target. You only really need to aim if you care about actually hitting the target. 
The pistols and the uh, mini Uzis feel really great to run around with and unload an entire clip into the single dude who made the mistake of standing still which in turn offended me, giving me probable cause to shoot him. Assault rifles are alright and they get a pass on feel for me, with decent rate of fire and high magazine capacity they act fine most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't feel 100% right. As when I try to aim down the sight sometime like a human, it almost always spasms against my body forcing me to hold it at strange angles. Or, if I wasn't lazy I could use the laser sight, but you know, we're not talking about that are we? Or you could just whack people because apparently melee weapons are fucking assault rifles in disguise. I still try to keep it with me all the time, but the only real redeeming factor for me is how cool I feel holding two of them at my waist and just plowing through the waves of flesh that just come at me. Bullets apart from gaining velocity and causing trouble also have a different use in this game. They can be used as currency to buy stuff at a vending machine located at the beginning of every level. If you have a third weapon that you like to bang with you can snap it up and give this dickhead a real smackdown. Or you can be like me because I don't find myself buying too much as I'm very versatile and I can bang with basically anything I'm given or I can find something good in the dusty old puffin. And if you're wondering what I mean by the dusty old puffin, well, the crates around the map are supplied by a company called Puffin, which has also conveniently just become my favourite fictional company to ever exist, so well done there. Uh, so once you open a puffin, you can be gifted weapons, ammo, and sometimes other components like batteries, so it's always good to check them. Thank you very much, Puffin. Oh, there's a boat right here called Puffin. Hello, Puffin. <laughs> Most of the story in this game is either delivered okay. to you through the environments you go through or by exposition dumps performed by computer people called Haynes and Alora, who are also your fellow employees at Monogon. And the only thing I really need to tell you, because apart from getting to the clock tower you don't really have too many objectives, as a part of the main game of course. But Here's one thing you definitely need to remember, okay? And it's very fucking important. After the computer people have finished their exposition dumps, if you do not smash the computer, I am going to be incredibly cross with you. I don't care if it looks like it's fucking expensive, it's a 2000s fucking book PC, I don't care. Smash that shit against the fucking floor or I'm gonna cancel Christmas for the indefinite future. So what do I think about Boneworks? Well, Boneworks is a very interesting game to say the least. Interesting and unique. It has interesting gameplay, interesting gunplay, and most of all, an interesting environment and a whole new atmosphere for you to understand and explore. I think that this is going to be a game you have to play at least once and experience on your own to really get a conclusion of whether you like it or not. So I'm not going to tell you, oh, you should go play this or you shouldn't go play this. Not like I would anyway. I'm, this is my personal opinion on the game. You might think it's a piece of shit. I think it's alright. I'm not going to say it's the best game ever, but I'm not going to say it's a bad game. It's definitely on the upper end of the spectrum. Yep, that's it. I think that's it from me. So, yeah. That's it. It's good. Interesting. Go play. And go play the interesting game. I mean, if you want to. I don't know. Bye!